you don't know how to play against him, huh? Green shirt. Uh, All right, here we go. If you've never played against X before, you're. you're <laughs> oh, is he playing Luk Lukaina? Lukaina. Lukaina, yeah. I'm I'm revolutionizing the meta single-handedly. Lukaina, that's that's an uh, interesting play. Something that a lot of villagers do is approach with Nair, not Steve, guys. Look out for that. What's the Nair again? Down smash. He tried to do the the um the reset on him. That's gotta be pretty cute, actually. All right, Hex is playing Lucina. Actually, this is a really, really bad matchup for um for Villager. A lot of people would think otherwise because uh, Villager has access to so many decent projectiles, but it's actually really difficult for Villager to do anything. Because if you think about it, most of his um his capitalizations are based off of his aerials, and if you can't get your aerials because they're getting beat out by a gigantic sword, you're gonna have a hard time. I yeah. Ooh. That was quite. That was actually quite good. I don't know if he did it on purpose, but I'll give him credit. I'll, I'll give him more credit where credit's due. Yeah, his his Lloyd rockets are gigantic. I would have never challenged that. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. That F tilt was kind of OD. We have pa we have Pika Maxi just reciting the entirety of Green Eggs and Ham. I don't like Green Eggs and Ham. No, that was wrong. Oh, down ooh. air. Down air, down air. Koo. My boy Koo. Okay, what, what, uh... Bear doesn't combo into side B. Don't let that happen to you guys. The thing, the thing is, Goo right, should be air. trying to throw him off stage really, really old. Goo should be really, doing really exactly, exactly, exactly that. that. But the thing is, against most swordsmen, what you're supposed to do as villager is keep go getting them off stage with that slingshot. Yeah. Because most swordsmen have pretty awful recoveries. Yeah, um, so you kind of just, like, throw them off stage really, really far with that slingshot to the point where they can't recover. You do that to Cloud, you do that to Lisa, and you do that to Mars. And you just keep going at it. With that being said, though, we have Hex with a still very leading. Um, oh, yeah. Ooh, Shield Breaker. Team. Almost did it. And then goes for a down tilt. Shields with Lloyd Rocket gets the uh, jab up tilt. Pops nice. the balloon. Didn't get, bottom, didn't get both of them. He was trying I to make it so that the, um, the hurt box, hitting the balloon would extend the hitbox of his F uh, smash right. and punish him. Yeah. Okay, but I've never seen like anyone break both balloons and send a villager flying down. The only, the only reason I've seen it is because one of my um, best friends plays Villager. Uh, I've never seen it before. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually interesting because you would think that it, it just sends him into free fall, but it actually pops him up, and then he can still grab the ledge. It's actually very strange and annoying. That's a little dumb. Yeah, it's retarded. DK has a pretty easy time with it, though, because of the back air. Back air is really good for um, double hitting something, but... I'd imagine if you just chuck a few projectiles downward. To cut. Oh, if you have Luma. It's, super, it's surprisingly hard to snipe the balloons. Strictly because of the reason that Villager has a ton of mobility while he has his balloons on. Because a lot of them no. like to like like float slowly, but Villager can shoot across the screen with those balloons. Not super fast like an illusion, but like you can go pretty fast. There's just certain things you shouldn't be able to do if your character can do a certain thing and they, they, that sometimes it just happens. Oh, Goo switches to Falcon. I don't think Falcon likes Swordsman. Falcon does do a very good job of abusing Lucina though, and that's something I'm hoping that he can pull off here, but Hex is not one of those players to be abused very lightly. He Raptor boosted. Yeah, I don't know about that, but he is getting side beat right now, holding a ton of damage. One other thing about Falcon is that a lot of Lucina's combos that don't usually work, work beautifully on this character. So, I hope... I want to say it's a, it's a skill matchup, but Falcon does have this uh, thing about sword characters. Yeah, he has a very hard time. Because all brawlers do. They have a really hard time with swordsmen. Um, not a hard time. They have a hard time getting in on them. Once they get in, though, they, they get to play their own game. Unless you're Lucina and, you're, and your sword hurts a lot. And, you have, and if you're Cloud, you have frames. Is that Hex aka the Yoshi main? Yeah, it is actually. That is Hex aka the Yoshi main. But he's, uh, he's playing Lucina, because why not? Lucina! Everyone has a Lucina nowadays. Did some top player say that Lucina is like, really good or something? No, they think that Mart's really good now because MK Leo's really good. So um. Lucina likes steak, especially flat medium rare. <laughs> We've been roasting Lucina all night. I don't get what that means. She's flat. Is that a kind of steak, though? <laughs> anyway, back to the match. We have down <laughs> tilt. <laughs> Inter <laughs> intercepting him in the air with a fair. Coming back on the stage pretty comfortably. Hex has had a pretty solid control of this game the entire time. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, this is just not a good time for Goo. And doesn't make it back. Upbeat a little late there. God, he got his. His B hole blown I'm out. I'm just gonna. No, you can't use the body every time. You have to let it be special. Yeah. 